What's up everyone, Ace McGavridge here, back playing some NBA 2K19, career mode. Uh, we've made it all the way to the NBA G League, Gatorade League, it's the, it used to be called the Development League. Uh, and we are on the Mad Ants. So let's go ahead and get started. Need to score more points than Marcus Young. It's been a little while since I've played, so I'll probably be a little bit rusty. But I wanted to get back into this with you guys. You guys sharp tonight. Team we're playing, saw smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors? A man! Jackson Ellis. In live color, in the flesh, large and charge. You name it, I am it. And like the beans, I have risen again. Yeah? See, because I'm just surprised they let you through those metal detectors with all that steel pulsing through those broke knees, Jack. <laughs> Classic tape. All set up and no punchline. You sure you know how to play this game, man? Hmm? Last time I checked, we weren't dropping set shots in the peach basket. Hey, I, Howie, Jackson Ellis. Hold up, freeze frame. Money, whenever you need it. ATM is in the building. What's up? Right, I'm confused. What, what is happening? Oh, this is great. There's like a horror movie there everywhere. And ATM. Smoke and mirrors. You might not see us coming. And you definitely won't see us coming. Better check your wallet, son. Because you just got Jack. Hey, who's your little uh, tag-along gang, Tater? Looks like they got laws at the last week's Beaver concert. Beaver! Beaver! <laughs> oh, man. You know, I studied you two coming up, and I'm not falling into your little middle school head games. Ha! That's all you got? Ha! You hear that, ATM? Looks like we got ourselves our very own Zen master right here. Yeah, real future coach in the making. You better watch out, Jack, before he starts mesmerizing you with talks about Buddha's wet jumper. <laughs> Gonna be a short stay in the league for your little man, Tatum. His skin's as thin as paper. Talks over, first name A, last name I. We're gonna make it our personal mission that every scout that watches the tape of this here game uses as an example of where your career went extinct. Look, enough talk. Let's play. We'll be seeing you out there. Woo! Smoke and mirrors. Out. <laughs> okay, so that happened. Shh. Man, please. They all talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fool yourself, kid. They used to be in the league for a reason. We underestimate them, they will bury us. <laughs> that was pretty Welcome interesting. Welcome everyone to another game of Mad Ants Basketball. I'm Blake Suniga alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. We have a great game in store for you tonight. Well, I know Mad Ants fans All right. are waiting for this game. As AI, Boys, the nice viral help. dunk legend, has made his way here via trade. Tonight is his debut, and it'll be a fun one. And as fun as it will be for the Mad Ants to see what AI can do, they'll have their hands full with Ellis and ATM. The pair they thought I was going to get a dunk. I spun the wrong way. Nickname, and a lot to watch for here in this great matchup. Well, it's no secret that Demarcus Young has his sights set on a, on a larger stage. He'll tell anyone willing to listen that he wants to be in the NBA. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he got there sooner. Better rather get later. points for that defense. Now here's AI. Young. Yes, and it's AI picking up the assist. So that's Look at that. The intelligence of AI knows when one of his guys isn't being covered. Jones a screen. I don't know why they're passing to the center when he's behind the half court line. Right side. Yep, that goes. Well, you watch Ellis play, and it is clear that he is a very tricky player on the floor. Every move he makes, he does with precision and purpose. I mean, sometimes it seems like he's winging it. Get over here. Give it to me. But he knows exactly what he's doing with the ball. Here we go. Back it down. Fade away. Now here's AI. Yeah. From the low post is good. Yeah, I think AI did some work in his inside game during his time in China. He's looking very confident in that area. Yeah, he Here's is. Here's the pick. Pass to Ellis. 
Hoops over Young. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jumper. And the one knock on Young, as talented as he is, he seems to get wrapped up in his own numbers. He could be so much better than he is if he didn't worry about how many Just keep doing that. Up. So it isn't broke, don't fix it, right? He <laughs> out of. Red hot out of the gates, four for four shooting. Can't guard me in the post. And first quarter of action, two minutes in. Top Middleton, guarded by Calderon. And it's oh, he got blocked. Nice. Run. Left side, Young. Oh. Bishop with the rebound. Their first they miss got of the boxed game. out. Strong start. Well, so much of this offense is based on smoke and mirrors. And if you can stop them, you slow up the whole team. Yeah, but that's a lot easier said than done. Uh, ATM and oh. By going with Look at that block. If you take away one option from them, they're just going to find another way to hurt you. So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. Now, here's Bishop. Jones a screen. Back to Bishop. And there's the pick. Block at six. Oh, I tried to get in. What? That was a bad block, I guess. Tried. Ellis and Middleton are the engine for this team. To the paint. Here's AI. That should have been a dunk. I don't know what that was. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. Ooh, we already got the takedown meter, the takeover meter. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. Greensboro calls timeout. And for the last few seasons, smoke and mirrors have been a terror in the G League. Both ATM and Ellis compete with cutthroat attitudes. I love to see that. With their skill and aggression, they are a huge problem for opposing defenses. And they aren't an easy matchup for anyone in the G League with how they can score and create. Probably the best tandem we have in the G League right now. Okay. So if anyone's familiar from past uh, NBA 2K career modes, Jackson Ellis was your rival, at least in NBA 2K16 he was. Uh, and I think some other versions of it as well. All right, here we go. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played. I'm going to start my takeover quarter. meter soon here. Oh, it went away. Now, here's Goodwin. Tight defense on him. Here's Middleton. And it's good. He planted his feet firm on the pick and shielded the defender off. Well, most know Sheldon Middleton as ATM, and he prefers it that way. He tried explaining the self-proclaimed nickname to me once. Uh, something about needing there we money? Go. I'm not really sure. To be honest, I have no Get idea going. why the name has stuck around with him. The swarm trailing. ATM because he's money in the bank. Pass to Gaines. They set the pick. Shot, no good. The Mad Ants go the other I left way my guy, it. but I knew it was going to be okay. Give it to Here's me. Grace. Good. Nice. Starting off one for one with that shot. I used my takeover meter. I was hoping to get a dunk there. Grace. He has to be effective in the painted area. Well, you know that this offense is going to lean heavily on the smoke and mirrors pick and roll. And even though they do it with some flash, credit Ellis and ATM for being very refined in how well they can execute the two-man game. I wasted my takeover meter. And he makes it first. The Swarm making a switch here. The Swarm. And he hits both from the stripe. The Mad Ants leading. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that there we go. AI. Well, we know that AI came over via trade. Officially, it was for cash considerations. But the rumors say it was something more specific. Less of cash considerations and more of roast beef recompense. What I'm <laughs> what? getting at is that 
he was traded for sandwiches. Not a high <laughs> point for him, but I'm sure he'll look back at some point and laugh at it all. One would hope. Traded for oh, he's sandwiches. Using it as, you know, a means of motivation, Tim. Oh, he and is. does it for the first quarter. Matt Ants out. Look at that block. They lead by nine. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. Sub me in, coach. Here's Jones. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Outside Middleton. Pass to Payton. Oh, no. Good, and Sheldon no. gets the assist. Beyond the catchy name of Smoke and Mirrors, both Ellis and ATM are known trash talkers. Yeah, they will get in your face and let you have it if you can't slow them down. Part of dealing with the duo is just putting up with all the trash they're going to send your way. And that's part of what makes them so Whoever good. that announcer is, almost sounds like uh, the jackass guy, Steve-O. To the middle. Let's it fly. Get out of here. And really a big part of shot blocking is Oh, I thought that guy had him. That he's capable of rejecting shots. That was my fault. I went back for my defender. You just will not ever see him put in a play. He certainly is a handful. You've got to have a body on him at all times. Absolutely, Blake. too. Yeah. And sometimes getting a body on him, even that's That was terrible. Enough, you know, Ugh. he'll go over, around, or through. Yeah, that was not a good shot. Rebound. I mean, he is just relentless. Not too much to be said about Young, other than he's a standout player. Has an edge to him on and off the court. He can be described as curt at times, but hopefully he's just a player focused on improving his game. Two on the clock. Here's Bishop. Fort Wayne grabs the miss. The open shot, Paul Tatum. The wide open shot nice. is on the money. Tatum spent a good amount of time in the NBA, and you can see it with his approach to the game. Yeah, a decade in the NBA means so much, and it's something that never leaves you. Trust me, I've been there. And Tatum knows what it takes to succeed at the highest level, and that means as much, if not more, than youth in the game of basketball. Ellis shot is off. Madison, Middleton defending. Out to the wing, pass to Randolph, Young, inside, and it's going to be a three-second. No, I thought I got out of the key. Come on. Terrible. One second left. So we conclude the first half. Matt Ants out in front. They lead by 14. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. They're going to be halftime trash talk here. to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. He's been a revelation tonight, scoring in the Bryan zone at will in the first half. The, the what? Bryan zone, trust me, it's a fun place to be. Hard to imagine he'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. It could be a special night for him. Oh. And he'll let you know it, but Jackson Ellis is as talented as anybody in this league. Well, Blake, confidence has never been a problem for Ellis. Even before he was teamed up with ATM, he was regarded as one of the future names in the league. Moving it around, eight of the last ten points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure, selfless teamwork. Absolutely. And there's the pick. Here's Middleton. Oh, that was my fault. The rebound and puts it back up and in. I thought he was going to go for the dunker layup, so I went in. 
easy bucket in the paint. The interior defense at that end has been lifeless, to say the least. Here's AI. And the matter I guess that's a dig at me for my defense, huh? Ryan, really, what a whirlwind the past few days it must have been for AI. Comes in from China, gets his bearings in LA, and is immediately traded over to Fort Wayne. Hard for any player to be at their best after going through so many changes in such a short span. And the swarm call time here. He just isn't pleased with all the looks they've given up inside, and he wants to, to tighten up this team defensively. Yeah, that's what has to happen. Yeah. He'll let them know it. They're playing some soft interior defense, and that's just a recipe for disaster. And that's the thing, the interior defense, that's the easiest way to score right around the basket. Mesh up outside, out to the left wing. Ellis outside. I guess that's me then if we have weak interior defense. Perfect design on the big play, <laughs> and he lays it in. Well, if you recognize Jackson Ellis, there's a reason. He spent some time in the NBA before coming here to work his way back. And Ellis is a guy who has his hands in everything. I think he's worth his two. Yes, a got it done. Just a guy who is always around the game Finally. of basketball one way or another. Such solid, fundamental basketball right there. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. And it was a terrific understanding between teammates that made it possible. They really read each other well, like a book. Here's Middleton, and it's Sheldon Middleton That's with not the good. Jam. Solid at recognizing when he has a lane. You give ATM these openings, and it's straight cash, homie. A long time fans of the team know uh, Coach Keller, he's very fair to his players. Yeah, like and he just three things, Tim. Discipline, control, and respect. Seems a bit of an old school approach nowadays, but it's a hit with the team and the fans of the Mad Ants. And we just love Coach Keller. He's great. And AI gets it to go. We're seeing some good ball movement out of them. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have Take over meters assist. back. They set the screen. Pass to Middleton. Back to Ellis. Five on the clock. That shot off the mark. So Fort Wayne will take it the other way. Well, the G League the last few years has increased the competitive level. Fair to say? Oh, absolutely fair to say. Look, the NBA has been investing more and more into making the G League a true stepping stone for players who are on the verge of being NBA caliber, but they're just not quite there yet. Thanks, Steve-O. Right side, Middleton. Boom. Locked. Locked. Goes up on the stripe, and the Mad Ants tack on two more. Another good pass, impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Now here's Ellis, guarded by Young. All right. Here's Calderon. It's rebounded by Middleton. And with ATM, surely his ability to move with his size is a handful to deal with. He is surprisingly nimble for a player of his size and strength. Here's Ellis on the mark with wow. the 15-footer. He's been a real positive factor. Uh, real positive factor. He's minus 11 on the court. Falling a bit short here. And the Mad Ants call time here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Let me back in. All right, in the fourth. What happened? Where's my guy? Fourth quarter now, we're just about a minute and a half in. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Daniels right side and the layup's good on all right the good glass. got in his way but it worked fearlessness inside love seeing Daniels exert his will when he's this close to the basket Trader the screen there's the lob to the hoop it's stolen by Trigg and AI the newest member of the Mad Ants who was a player they went out of their way to get coach Keller sees a great deal of potential in this young man 
I got a little layup there. Assertiveness out of these defenders, or I'm gonna suit up and check into this game. That might make <laughs> the defense even worse. But, but that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed from right around the rim. Can't stop me. Ellis outside. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pick. And too it's long terrible on the rebound shot. attempt. Good pick, but he just couldn't make it count. And he still owes his teammate a big pat on the back for setting that rock solid screen. Here's AI. That's and the again, shot. I love it. Lane. Well, if AI is a name that sounds familiar, it is because he had a dunk that went viral not too long ago. A couple of uh, showstoppers that occurred in an exhibition game against the NBA All Stars. It was the biggest thing on the web. Pass to Gaines. Great D that time from Bryson Daniels. And that slam from AI, it was right in the face of Corey Harris. And it's not easy to dunk over Corey Harris like that, believe me. It looks like AI was able to <laughs> a little trick shot. for that dunk into a chance here in the G League. I mean, talk about one play changing your whole life. Pick and roll. Outside to the middle. Oh. And Dave Zadirko. Yeah, that was bad. Excellent at using the pick and roll. Give Ellis a passing lane, and he's happy to thread the needle. Well, you talk to anybody on the Mad Ants, and they'll have a story to tell you about Howie Carter. Carter is very well liked on the team and brings a good amount of balance to the locker room. Very outgoing player who helps the team bond. Pass to AI. Parked down low that time and got no. hit with the three-second call. Both teams will make substitutions. Now here is White, defended by Madison. Here's the pick. From 13, Indra shots good. Well, their offense is kicked in the gear, but it's come just a little too late. I think it may be, but at least they're finally showing some signs of life offensively, but too bad it's past the point where it'll do them much good. Yeah, absolutely. Here's AI, and again, it's Fort Wayne. Well, if you haven't read up on AI, the newest uh, Mad Ant, uh, he's been playing over in China. 30 Five points. Years. Was apparently putting up some decent numbers for the Shanghai Bears when he was noticed by the scouts. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded closely. Lou Grace with some nice D. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. Oh, my takeover they're meter's up here again. Whoops. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This Better is use it. There's no the time left. Just look how happy their coach is. Here's Indra, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and he'll go to the line. No. That he missed. All right. And he's good on the second. Let's see if I can get down there for the last minute shot. There it goes. For the Mad Ants and the game froze. AI. Strong game all around. And it is rare to see a team not get run over by the tricks of smoke and mirrors. But the Mad Ants were able to survive the tandem and get the win here on their home floor. And you could just tell that the energy of Fort Wayne has picked up with the addition of AI. The whole team seemed to play. I think I scored more points more than the other guy on my team. He announced with more fire. But that's going to do it for us here. For Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for tuning into this broadcast of Mad Ants Basketball. There we go. Oh, wow. Good amount of points. Right into a cutscene, I'm guessing. They just give me the rock after the scream, man. 
move it. <laughs> Give me a second. You think you own the court? You think you own this locker room now? Nah, but uh, I think I just scored more points than you tonight. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow night, and the next, and the next. That's how it is? Whoa, huh? Whoa, whoa. That's what you hey, think? Hey, whoa, whoa, guys! Is that what you think is hey, gonna hey, happen? Hey, 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 huh? it's okay, man, it's okay. I'm just trying to get under Marcus's skin. And it's working. Interesting. More cutscenes. This looks like the same apartment in China. Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. It's also the only sandwich that can double as its own plate. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Man, all the big food shows have been gagging to get a piece of this here right gone for years. The owner just shoots them off. Old school, Midwest. No desire for celebrity. Only the work matters. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. Dude, I mean, he's arrogant, but you're so self-conscious. You'll eventually lose. It's gonna affect everything you do in the court, and then you're never gonna get to the NBA. No, come on. We're only having lunch so you can find out how to get out of the city, right? Uh, look, I I'm sorry, man. Okay, I just... Only apologize when absolutely necessary. We need more ambition on this team. So what's it like, you know, like, the league? No different to this. Yeah, players are faster, they can jump higher, of course they're the same size. Better hotels. Mm. You wanna know how to get in? Deal with Marcus, you know, like make sure he doesn't mess up my chances with the now scouts. Here's an idea. How about you see Marcus as not a rival, but more of a teammate? Why? He's not going to. I mean, like I grew up in Houston, okay? I was a Rockets fan. Do or die. That that was my team. You know, it still is deep down. But you, young players, you, I don't know, you were brought up in the system. You, know, you probably traveled around the country you know, in camps and tournaments. And, and, and you were probably shuffled around by the AAU. It's, you probably never really had a team, right? Yeah, the Lakers, of course. The Heat. Yeah, I'm not talking about respect. I'm talking about love. Okay? A love that charges you, feeds you. And that is the difference between a player and a legend. Show them that answer that you're not just passing through. You show them that passion, the, the appreciation. And I promise you, none of the time you spend here will be wasted. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized, and, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah. Hey. You, you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. <laughs> Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told Mad you it was them! Fans of the Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man. Are, are you kidding? I mean, yeah. we watch every single game. This season has been so freaking exciting, dude. It's so awesome to know you guys are definitely going whoa, all the whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just slow it down. I mean, it's long you're, season. You're right, Mr. Tatum. You know, one game at a time, but man, AI... I've seen you be under way worse pressure, and you always come through. When you hit that baseline jumper with two seconds left to send it to OT in that tourney game you played, man, legendary. Ice water in your veins. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys good? You need a refill? It's on me. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you, you know about me. You know how I deal, huh? Honestly? If, if I can speak honestly. <laughs> Sounds like you can. I grew up in this town my whole life, but I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, but I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude, look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? Yo, wh what did you say you did? The 51.4, but everything, dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now, I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blown up. But sometimes, 
it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. you know, a, a copy refill would be good. I'm yeah. really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I mean, you know, I've been a little busy playing basketball. I don't really I, have I'm not time saying that you else. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. Or just your regular manager if you don't have um, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool, yeah. cool. All right. Think about it. Do I still think about it? Yeah, of course I still think about getting that mid-season call to be the 12th man. And I'm always going to. Maybe I'll get that one last ride. But you want advice. Be here. Now. Don't worry about what's coming. If you're good to Fort Wayne, she'll pay you back in full. <laughs> Did the coach play that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you saw them at the diner. Okay, we are kings around here. And yeah, sure, everyone in the NBA is a king too, but man, it's, it's, it's different. You know, it, it's like your family's filling the stands in the high school gym. And it's just a couple of farm boys playing one-on-one. -on -one. Are we going to go play too? Hey, what do you say to a couple of kings taking on the common folk in a game against the barn door? Hey, y'all need two more? <laughs> it's on, bro. That's going to be it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll uh, see what happens in this uh, two on two game in the next episode. This is Ace McAverage, and we'll see you guys next time.